These people came to see a show. No question, the first thing you'll fall in love with in Apex Legends is the incredible roster of characters. Finally, you can scratch that itch of playing a happy-go-lucky robot who feels only joy in the face of a deadly blood sport. Exciting! Each legend has been given a rich and compelling backstory, some hilarious. Oh, hey, how's it going? And some just heartbreaking. I mean, seriously. Petty human emotions aside, the wonderfully diverse cast comes with some of the most exciting and creative abilities you've ever seen in combat. Now entering Season 9, you have a massive 17 legends to choose from, each crafted to bring a unique flavor to your gameplay. Legends perform best in a team, and every new match brings an opportunity to learn how their individual talents work together to create opportunities to push an offensive or brilliantly misdirect an enemy for a last-minute retreat. And don't sweat if you haven't unlocked all the legends from day one. The starting six are some of the most loved and played legends by newcomers and seasoned pros alike. We've got some tips that'll get you up and running quickly and make you a vital part of your team. Let's get into it. Apex Legends is free to play, so after you download the base game, you'll get access to six legends right off the bat. Lifeline, Bloodhound, Bangalore, Gibraltar, Wraith, and Pathfinder. The rest can be unlocked in two ways, either by purchasing Apex coins or by earning legend tokens from simply playing the game. You can unlock the entire roster without spending a thing but we recommend getting to grips with at least three legends early on, as you may find your first and even second choice snatched up in the character select screen if you're last to pick. Each legend comes with three unique skills, passive abilities, tactical abilities, and an ultimate ability. The passive is a constant buff to your character, while the tactical and ultimate must be charged up over time and then triggered at your choosing. The charge duration is different for all character abilities, but you can keep an eye on the progress down at the bottom of your HUD. Alternatively, you can listen out for the handy audio cues if you've got your eye on your next victim already. Let's start with Lifeline, as she's the character you'll be doing the tutorial with. As her name makes abundantly clear, she's a healer. Now, if you're of the mindset that healers or support characters are boring to play, you take that preconception and you throw it right in the sea. Lifeline's strength is in keeping the whole team engaged, while your enemies have to take their eye off the fight to heal or revive teammates. This means that Lifeline is a great pairing in literally any team of legends. In combat as Lifeline, try not to be the one charging into the fight first. If one of your team gets knocked down, it's better if you handle the reviving, as your robot helper Doc will actually do all the hard work and leaves you free to get back to that thing you love doing, shooting enemies. And if it's not one of your teammates, but rather your equipment that needs a pick-me-up, then Lifeline's ultimate is just what you need, as she can call down a care package full of glorious loot. And best of all, you're guaranteed to find something better than your current gear. So if you're already head to toe in purple, call it in and prepare to look fantastic in gold. And speaking of which, if you have a lifeline in your squad, make sure she gets the gold backpack if your team finds one. A gold backpack revives players with 50 shields and 70 health, rather than zero shields and 20 health. As the team healer, it definitely makes the most sense for her to have it. Next up is Bloodhound. Someone traveled through here recently. As a tracker, they can follow the trail of an enemy and reveal their positions to your whole team. We recommend pairing Bloodhound up with Bangalore. Being able to reveal enemy players in Bangalore's tactical can turn a disorienting smokescreen into a cloud of bullets and death for an unsuspecting enemy. Bloodhound's tactical ability can also help reveal players who are trying to stay hidden to heal or revive fallen comrades. It's a massive help to your teammates with a few spare grenades or offensive ultimates to flush them out of hiding. Our last tip for Bloodhound is to pair your tactical ability with your ultimate, Beast of the Hunt. With Beast of the Hunt active, you'll be able to see enemies glowing red, although the rest of your squad won't. 
Unfortunately, your tactical scan ability also goes from recharging every 25 seconds to every 8 seconds, meaning you can keep hammering that button so your teammates can see the enemies too. Plus, every enemy that you knock down while in Beast of the Hunt mode increases the time that the ultimate will last. Then there's Gibraltar. As one of the big guys, you take 15% less damage than standard characters. But then again, you are a bigger target. Gibraltar's tactical is a dome shield that is totally resistant to gunfire and explosions. However, enemies can just walk through the shield and shoot you right in the face. This makes it particularly powerful in longer range gunfights, allowing your team to heal up safely while an enemy has to either stop shooting or move closer to you to keep the fight going. It is a pretty visible beacon, so be careful it doesn't attract other teams to you as well. Gibraltar also gets a two second reduction to reviving teammates inside the dome. So if you find yourself running to the aid of a downed player, try throwing your dome on them before you stick the res to get both of you back fighting that much quicker. In closer gunfights, Gibraltar's dome pairs really well with his ultimate. Try dropping your dome shield and then your defensive bombardment right at your feet. Any nearby enemies will either need to step into the dome with you and your squad or face the barrage of explosions all around them. Be careful though, while your defensive bombardment won't damage your teammates, it will damage you. So make sure you have a fresh dome ready before calling that ultimate on your own head. Get ready for a world of hurt. Bangalore is perhaps the best all-rounder and a great early choice for new players. On the offensive side, you have her ultimate Rolling Thunder, which peppers the ground with timed explosives. Plus, Bangalore calls out handy tips about the weapons and ammo you find around the maps that both you and your team can hear and learn from. G7 Scout here. Handles like an AR. Good mid-range. On the defensive side, you have the Double Time Passive, giving you an incredibly useful 30% speed buff when you're getting shot at, plus a tactical smoke launcher. Finding yourself inside a cloud of Bangalore smoke can be nothing short of sketchy when you're not sure which direction leads back to safety or forward into a wall of gunfire. As an offensive tool, try trapping a team indoors to obscure the exit and then giving the room a light dusting with grenades. Oh, and if you manage to hit an enemy with a smoke canister, you'll do an extra 10 damage too. So next time you whittle an enemy down to a sliver of health before they duck behind cover, try aiming your smoke just over their head to get that final tickle in. Delicious. As a defensive tool, you'll find smoke incredibly powerful for covering a retreat, obscuring your team while looting death boxes, and most importantly, hiding you and a fallen ally during a revival. Finally, you might think you need to be outdoors to use your ultimate as either Bangalore or Gibraltar. Well, you'd be wrong. Both call in their explosive ultimates using a throwable flare. Now, say you're trapped in a building while an enemy team controls the roof. Throw that flare at your feet indoors to see the team above scatter as they avoid getting blown to bits. Plus, you might find the team split up in their haste, making them all the more vulnerable to a good kicking. Next up is Wraith. Looking for me? While she can be tricky to master, Wraith comes armed with some powerful tools that make her formidable on her own or with a team. And while she's listed as an offensive character, Wraith's abilities are exceptionally powerful in defense as well. Her passive, Voices from the Void, gives you a heads up if an enemy has you in their sights or has laid some sneaky traps for you to run into. Danger, move meaning you're always ready if an enemy is trying to get the jump on you. Be sure to hit the prompts to notify your team, so it's not just you ducking into cover. Someone's got a shot on me, pretty sure. Wraith's tactical, Into the Void, is an incredibly handy trick to pull regardless of whether you're pushing in or dipping out of a fight. On activation, you'll become invulnerable, faster, and harder to see for four seconds. Now, that may not sound like much, but it can save you running out of cover from a grenade, or giving you that extra moment to get round a corner during an escape. If a team has laid traps behind them or dropped Bangalore's rolling thunder as they attempt to retreat, Wraith can push through unharmed, even catch up with the speed buff, and finish off a team near death. 
Beware though, it takes a moment to activate, so you need to be quick on the draw if you're going to avoid that explosion or hail of bullets. Her ultimate, Dimensional Rift, drops a portal that has so many powerful uses. At its most straightforward, you can use the portal as a way to get out of a fight quickly, heal up, and then jump back in just as quick. This can be especially handy if you have the high ground but want to drop down to take on a fight or grab some loot. One rift at the top, another at the bottom, and you've got a high-speed route back to your perch when you're done. Of course, anyone, including enemies, can use the void, so it's always a good idea to spin around and check you aren't being followed. But therein lies the power of the portal. Try baiting a team to follow you through after you've taken some damage, only to have a trap waiting for them on the other side. A grenade dropped at your feet, or even placed precariously over a deadly fall. As a tool to escape a fight, you can use both the ultimate and tactical ability together, dropping the first rift in cover, hitting the tactical without the activation delay to protect you out in the open, and then dropping the other rift in safety. This also works as a safe way to retrieve a fallen teammate, or perhaps grab a team banner outside of the ring without taking damage. And finally, we have Pathfinder, the happiest robot at the gunfight. I love whoever came up with this new game. As his name suggests, he excels at getting around the map and creating new routes that are closed to other legends. There is undeniably an art to using Pathfinder's tactical grappling hook to really slingshot yourself across the map. Try turning your body away from the direction your hook has landed to get more of an arc, rather than just going directly to the grapple point. After a little practice, you'll be launching in and out of fights with the precision of a, well, robot. If you find yourself losing a gunfight high up, the only real option for escape is to drop off the side and hope you aren't followed. With Pathfinder, try jumping off the edge only to immediately fire your grappling hook at the ledge and pull yourself straight back up. Your enemy may have chased you off the side, and now finds themselves stuck at ground level with no one to shoot. As ultimates go, Pathfinders is one of the most useful to have on a team. His zipline will attach up to 100 meters away onto any surface. This means he can take a team from open ground up to an otherwise unreachable perch to survey the area for enemies and fire from an elevated position. He can also get the team over unclimbable obstacles when running from the ring or escaping a fight. Simply being able to control where you want to be without getting stuck in one spot can make all the difference in winning or losing an encounter. And those are just a few starting tips for the original six in Apex Legends. Do you have some more tricks and tactics with these characters? Let us know. Otherwise, ready up and get into the fight. PlayStation.